Gobble, gobble, all you turkeys out there. It's time to get out your planner and get ready for November's holidays and hashtags that you can use on your restaurant social media this month. There are a ton of ideas and things, and I'm gonna give you just a few that you can steal and promote on your restaurant social media, specific ideas that you can use. But again, I couldn't cover them all. So if you want all of everything happening in November and beyond, uh, grab my Restaurant 365 Marketing Planner. I'll drop a link below. It has ideas for every single day of the year that you can steal for your restaurant. So that link is below. So the first one is a very important one and it, on the 11th, it's Veterans Day. So think about, instead of just doing a picture of a flag, which is what everybody is going to do, could you honor the, the veterans in and around your restaurant. For example, could you get photos of maybe you have staff members who are veterans or uh, family members of staff and, and put together maybe a picture collage of those people? How about customers? Do you have some specific customers that you know that come in a lot and you could get a photo of them and honor them during on that day. I promise you, a post like that where it's got specific people is gonna get more attention, more engagement, and more eyeballs on you than just a generic picture of a flag. So think about doing that. The next one is World Kindness Day on the 13th, WKD. So this is an opportunity. What can you do something kind? Maybe you could give back. Maybe it's something paying forward. Maybe you could do something with a local charity. So think about what you could do there. Maybe it's donating food, cooking food for someone, all right? Uh, the 15th is Be Recycled Day. So this is all about promoting recycling. So I think it'd be great to show a behind the scenes of what are you doing to recycle in the restaurant? How, you know, what's your process? What are the things you're recycling? I think it'd be really great to showcase that and tell that story on social media, all right? Then obviously on the 25th is Thanksgiving Day. Now I have a video coming out in a few days with ideas around the holidays that you can do, but as Thanksgiving comes up, make sure you are sharing your hours. When are you gonna be open? I know sometimes I'm looking for where can I go? I need to get away from family and everything. You know, is there somewhere I could go out to eat or have some drinks in the evening after everything calms down? If that's happening at your restaurant, let people know about that. Um, but um, maybe you have some holiday, you're doing some holiday catering or you're putting together meals. Again, I have more ideas coming out in a couple days in another video, but um, uh, Thanksgiving Day is a big one. Then the day after that is Black Friday. And so this is gonna be a crazy, crazy day, right? So think about how you could maybe partner with some local businesses, maybe a local business where they're shopping and you could refer business to each other. For example, if someone uh, buys at a, at a retail store right next door to you, they get a coupon for a free appetizer at your restaurant and vice versa. Someone comes and eats at your restaurant, you give them a coupon to go shop at the place. And if so if you can partner up and, and kind of have that synergy together, I think that would be really, really cool. Then this is a really fun one, and this is the last couple of years, is the next day on the 27th is Small Business Saturday. And so people are all about this. This is a big, big deal on social media. It's all about promoting small businesses. So you as a restaurant, you're probably a small business, right? And so you can, you know, do that and promote, promote other small businesses around you or, you know, encourage people. Maybe you have a special that day for Small Business Saturday. So think about that. Even if it's a post about, hey, we're a small business. Things have been crazy the last couple of years. Please consider supporting other small businesses during this time. I think that would be a really, really cool post. And then finally on the 30th is Giving Tuesday. And so um, if, you heard, if you've heard about this, this is all about giving back. So think about if you could partner with a charity or maybe you could go to a soup kitchen and your staff could cook at the soup kitchen or do something where you can give back and give on that Giving Tuesday because that's another really, really uh, popular holiday that's gonna happen online and so you should be ready for it. So that's it, that, those, are, uh, those are just some of the ideas. Again, you can grab even more on my Restaurant 365 Marketing Planner. And if you like what you're seeing here, please consider hitting subscribe and uh, notify me below so that more people can discover this channel and we can keep growing and helping other restaurants and restaurant marketers just like you. So happy November. Hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon. Thank you. <laughs>